It is no secret that Europe has cunningly been depriving the developing world of much of the LNG supplies that it was slated to receive. Developing and poor countries cannot compete with a cash-rich Europe on the spot markets, which is why European countries end up securing LNG cargo supplies for themselves. India has also seen LNG supplies meant for it never reaching its shores, and New Delhi isn't happy about it. A commercial tussle between India and Germany has now escalated into a diplomatic fa- A German state-backed company securing energy for Europe is contractually obligated to supply India with LNG. This company was supposed to supply LNG to Indian state-owned firm Gale India Limited. However, India has not been receiving the supplies since May. The German-backed company sourced its LNG from Russia previously. However, the war in Ukraine and Europe's selective barring of Russian fuels has disrupted that practice. Ever since the war in Ukraine broke out, Europe has been buying unprecedented amounts of Russian LNG itself despite the war in Ukraine. But for some strange reason, the German company can't get hold of Russian gas to supply to India. That makes no sense to New Delhi, which has now asked Germany to source alternative supplies from its portfolio to meet contractual obligations. According to Bloomberg, diplomats have been called in to try to resolve the conflict. Germany has been trying to punish Russia for the war in Ukraine for months now. In pursuit of that goal, Berlin took over Gazprom-owned assets and properties in Germany. Gazprom is the Russian state-owned company that handles all of the country's natural gas and LNG assets. Now, the German company is paying a small penalty fee of 20% the value of the contractual shipment to India. That's really an insignificant amount and represents a fraction of the value of current spot gas prices in Europe. The remaining gap of 80% is falling on India's shoulders. India has also reached out to Russia to fill in the gap created by the German company backing out of its contractual obligations. Essentially, Germany seems to be in the mood of paying a token penalty fee and getting away with its obligation to supply 2.5 million tons of LNG to India every year. According to Indian state-owned gas giant Gale, the German-backed company has cancelled 17 cargoes since May this year. Europe definitely finds itself at the receiving end of an intense energy crisis, which many argue is of its own making. That should ideally not become grounds for depriving countries like India and others in Asia of the LNG supplies that have been contractually promised. European countries have been able to fill their LNG supplies to the brim due to what is suspected to be mass fuel hoarding. That means supplies meant for the poor and developing world seem to have ended in Europe's storage facilities, leaving scores of countries high and dry before the winter sets in. Do you think Europe has been acting in good faith?